So this is my boy Nas, you feel me? Nas Chu. Nasir Chu, you feel me? That's that's a name right there. I mean, you can say that, but I mean yeah, you can say that, but it's really like the true the true name. Like it's a lot of pressure dealing having that name, especially when your whole you know what I'm saying, your whole family from my dad, my uncles, my other cousins, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. I got cousins that, you know what I'm saying, my cousin Dakon Chu, who was at UN High, who played varsity, is is his dad, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Pressure having that name. Anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your dad was good or he was nice, that's, you gotta live up to that. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, like, not just me, like, somebody like Shaquan Worthy, his Craig, you know what I mean? Craig was nice. So they expect him for you to be better or just like him. That's hard to do when you, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you didn't see it. That's hard. That's hard to do. Like you didn't see it, you just hear stories and you like, oh, I gotta I gotta live up to that. Or you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's definitely a challenge, but at the end of the day, that's what comes with, you know what I'm saying, when you're playing ball growing up in any anywhere. But if you're from the, the town or you're from anywhere, if your parents and all that was nice. Like, like, for instance, Michael Jordan, son. He might have been good, but the fact that your dad is the greatest player of all time, <laughs> yeah, it no seemed chance. like you suck. Yeah, like, it seemed like you suck. <laughs> but it's like, you Michael Jordan, son. You're supposed to be better than that. Yeah. Nah, like, that, that, it, sometimes you, the pressure can get to you. It all, it all depends on if you if you let it get to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, nah, I mean, you know, I, I, my name is what's most important to me. Not just people like, oh, like, that's true, or that's new true, or that's not nice true. My name is more important to me as far as what you think of me, you know what I mean? Like, how, how you think of me when you say not nice true? And I want it to be positive. I don't want it to be negative. I want it to be positive as far as, like, be a good dude, be helped out, be real, you know what I mean? Like, or, or like, I, I don't want no shade, no real shade, like mm -hmm. something that I actually did to somebody, and it's true. Because people are gonna talk regardless, you know what I'm saying? Like is, you know, everybody, everybody's not, everybody's attention is not good, you know what I mean? So like, people will throw dirt on your name, people throw dirt on my name, people, just because they want to, misery needs company. Nah, I don't, I don't care about that, you know what I mean? As long as you're not saying stuff that, that I did to you, and it's true, then that's all I care about. But you can say whatever you want, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm gonna still be me, I'm gonna still have you as a friend, I'm gonna still have my other friends, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't care about what people think about me. Just when you speak on my name, make sure it's something positive. Don't say nothing at all. Oh wait, that's it. That's, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't you know, This is my it. man's man. We we met basketball camp. We crossed yeah. paths very early. I like, wasn't I wasn't I didn't meet you anywhere else, but I met you outside of Trenton. Right, right. You know what I mean? But we already knew we was two people from Trenton. Right. Was, it was a lot of people I met there, actually. Like, do you remember that seventh grade year? Yeah. yeah. It was probably your second seventh grade. Yeah, that was my dad. That was my second seventh grade. I did two seventh grades. That was my class. That was my class. Yeah, it, it. Uh, nah, I met him my seventh grade. He's probably six going to seven. Um, and, and I could tell from how, like, it was probably, what, like, maybe like 100 kids? Nah, maybe like 75 kids. Yeah. I could just tell from, we was from the same area because of how he carried himself, how he played. Like, yeah. you could tell when somebody is from what you from. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What, what is that? Like, like, let's talk about that. Like, it's a certain grit. Yeah, it's, come with it. like, yeah, it's definitely, it's a certain grit because people don't see what we saw on a daily basis or went through some of the things that we went through. Not saying that we had hard lives, but just walking down the street, you can see some crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the worst in the world, but it's what you make it. You know what I mean? And, and, and like, nothing is given. Everything is earned. Everything is earned. You know what I mean? So I saw that when we was in that camp because we was in it. It was a, you know, it was a, it was in West Windsor. So you know what kind of camp that would be. You know what I mean? And it was probably only like me and him. Valley was there. Like. Two other three, two other Nate, three people. Nate, Nate yeah, was there. Nate was the Nate King. Shout out uh, to Nate King. That's my boy. Um, yeah, so it was probably only probably like was. Uh, 
I think Wade might have been there. Yeah, that's what we were It was a couple names there, but you could tell, like, it was probably like five people from Trenton that was there. And I came with two people. He came, you know what I'm saying? So it was like me watching from afar, like, oh, he's from Trenton. Like, he's gritty. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then instantly, we've just been rocking ever since. We actually was on the same, they put us on the same 3-on-3 on, three on, yeah, three yeah. On three team. Yeah. And I was on the 5-on-5 five five team with Miley. Yeah. And, and Nas was getting on my nerves. <laughs> Always do. He was trying to get me to play harder. But if they, I was already playing hard. I'm like, yo, I'm already playing hard. He's like, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. Like, because like I said, once I figured out you was where we from, we have to stand out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we, like a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know about Trenton and we the capital of New Jersey. Like when you speak in New Jersey, they think of North, or they think of like Atlantic City, Wildwood, them big time, you know what I'm saying? Like they got beaches, or North because Newark is right next to New York, Patterson. But you, people don't know that. When you look on the map, or you look on the paper, that should say Trenton, comma, New Jersey. Like we the capital. So, and we get, so we gotta stick together. So when I saw that we was from the same area, and I didn't even have to ask, so I just knew from the way he played, the way he carried himself, I'm like, you gotta go harder. Like, you had like a different energy to basketball at, at your age, though. Like, it was it was kind of early for you to carry basketball with such a burden. I felt like like I never seen that before. I mean, you was playing morally like you was already playing like it was a job. Like it wasn't. I don't want to say it wasn't fun, because it probably still was fun, but it was more responsibility. Yeah, I mean, at an early age. Yeah, of course it was. Being that I was about like what, like 14. I mean, I started taking the basketball series when I was probably like, like really, really serious. Probably like age of nine. That's when I started playing AAU, and I was playing up. You know what I mean? So it was like once you step foot on that AAU stage. And you see all those kids are already maybe advanced. Like, I was good, but it was a way more people that was better than me. So once I saw that, and being a competitor, I wanted to be, I wanted to see, like, yo, like, I want to be better than him. So the next time they see me, dad, I want to do this. Dad, I want to do that. So that changed everything because it's a grind. A lot of people don't know, like, these young boys out here today, like, all they care about is Instagram and Jelly. Jelly like, Fam is jelly ruining like, things, come on, like, bro. Shout out to Jelly Fam, though, because they doing yeah, their thing. They, they built that. They built that. That's their crew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to understand you want to imitate what's hot. They don't know how hard they, they practice they, that, they though. Don't. Them jelly, they don't. They practice they those layups they, over and over. They don't they just do it hard. during the game. That's what I'm saying. They work hard. It's crazy. They workouts, they work hard. You know what I mean? Like, they don't know that they hold Jelly Fam Division one basketball player. All of them. I said, watch that uh, at Minnesota. Uh, the one kid at Robert Morris. The one kid, uh, I forgot where he went, but he went to a Division one school. Like J JQ. Yeah, he's JQ. Going to Nova. He's going to he, Nova. He, he's no, he was the number one. Boy is you know, different. Yeah, he didn't know one point guard. And come on, like they don't know how they put the work in. Yeah. Everybody just want to walk on the court and just do it jelly. Like nah, you got to work on that. If that's what you want to do, work on that in your workout. Don't just try to do it in the game and then you look foolish. That's all these kids worried about is Instagram or if they see a camera, oh, such and such is here with the camera, I got it. Nah, you should want to play like that every time you step out, whether if it's, it's cameras out, it's coaches, or you just playing it, pick up. Because it's one thing about this game, you got to love it. And that's why we was close for so many years, because we, you know what I'm saying, we, where we started basketball, loving this game, and we got that same kind of grind and grit. You know what I mean? Like, and, and shout out, shout out to Lou, man, too, because people don't know, like, from where he is now and from where he was before, an, an average person on his route would have gave up. Yes. Quit instantly. You know what I mean? And and for him to still stay with it and actually play college ball, like, a lot of people don't know how hard this dude worked at everything you do, you know what I mean? Like like I said, if the, you know, the average person would have had the path that he had to go through, go, you know what I mean, go go against and go against the odds he went against, they would have gave up. They would have just got a job or like in high school, 
So I was working at Burger King or something. You know what I'm saying? Like he he kept going, he kept going, Start and now trapping. yeah, like you know what I'm saying? It, it's just that you know you get caught up in the in the trend, in the trend, like you know what I mean? And the fact that he stayed with it, it shows you, it shows you that anything is not necessarily anything is possible. But if you got drive, you can do anything. Drive and you put your mind to it. Like I said, a lot of people don't know the the stuff that he had to go against. And to have a strong mindset like that, if if I would have had his mindset and his drive, I'd have been further along. You know what I mean? I would have probably still been playing or getting ready to go play somewhere. But see, that that was the difference, though. You had a back, you had a team. You feel know I me, mean? Morley? So you had that, that. That wasn't what you needed at that moment. I mean, I was, I had to be that for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My, 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 my dad wasn't around. Mm -hmm. my, my mom wasn't, my mom's a foreigner, not a basketball. She don't know much about basketball. Right. She don't care much about it. She, I'm a smart kid. She expects me to go to school and get have her grades. Right. Anything else is unnecessary to, to an African mindset. You know I mean? Right. So that's why I had to be that for myself. But with you, that, that support, it's crazy because you had so much support Mm -hmm. That even that support ended up being too much. Like right, right. I remember just riding, like sometimes riding back with you, and just the the, the manslaughter in the right, car. Just right. and it wouldn't even have to be necessarily a bad game, just not enough. Right. Just and how bad. much is enough when the right. expectations is high? Right. That and that, that falls and that falls back on the pressure of being uh, of a person who was well known as a basketball player. Like my like my dad, my dad is well known for being like one of the top. Players. I don't. I guess one of the top players in the city. You know what I'm saying? Like if, like people would come up to me like, oh your dad was this, your dad was that. So he's expecting me to be what he was plus more. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? That and, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that at all because you should have people like that behind you that want to see you do good. Not just want to see you, you know what I'm saying? That's not gonna let you just do mediocre, be mediocre. You know what I'm saying? So you, I might, well, I might think it was a good game. I'm like, I got, I had a good game. I did this, I did that. Okay, but you can do this too. You can do more. Always, cause, cause he know like, I have more. You have, he, he knows me. He's my, he's my father. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, it's like he, and plus he's looking from a different perspective where I'm just, I'm in, I'm in action. He's. He's observing as a coach, as a father. So he saw he saw more of me, which was which is the truth because I never really played up to my full potential growing up. You know what I'm saying? And I and I feel like that was trying to because I was I, it wasn't because of the pressure. I was trying to be more like not impress, but satisfy everybody, including my coaches, my father, other you know what I'm saying? Like my mom. Just satisfy them instead of satisfy myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was more or less I was playing for them than I was playing for myself. And that was one of the reasons why, you know, I, I kind of fell out of love with basketball. I lost the love of it. Is it gone completely? Like No, nah, it's not gone. Uh I have my little brothers and uh shit, our business. We train. I just I just came from training what, maybe like twenty kids? from the ages from six to high school. So me still being around it and training and coaching, you know what I mean, and, and playing from time to time. I put too much work in to just give it up completely. If I'm not gonna play no more, I'm a coach. I'm gonna train. I'm gonna I'm try to help, you know what I'm saying? So like you don't, you know, a lot of people hoop dreams is crushed. Like it was a lot of talent. Like, like I could give you, you know all the names. You can give you 30 names that should have been somewhere, but unfortunately, you know, some things happen, some things go left, and you lose the love for it. But my my advice to those people is just try to do something that involves in it, because you put too much hard work, sweat, hours in the gym for you to just be like, man, I ain't doing it no more. Go coach, go help somebody else. Give the knowledge that you got to somebody else coming up. Because coming up, playing basketball, you know how many people look up to you? Your peers, your classmates. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Like, there's so many people out there that admires you just for doing that one thing. 
So my advice to those people who think they fell out of, you know, who think they lost a level, do something else with it. Help out in some way because our community needs it bad. And everyone wants to play basketball. Everybody, so. exactly. And I help them out. Moving along though, because I know you have seen a lot of talent around. You have, like you said, um, you've been around the game for a long time. So, what would you say to some of these high schoolers? Because that that is the time that really is the most crucial. Mm -hmm. High school coming in at 14, 15, you got a little bit of talent, and you think you you know what I mean? you're trying to pick a school, or you're trying to make yourself stand out. Right. What would you say to kids in that area right now? Um, I would say make the decision for you, not for nobody else, not because of the name. Because I know a lot of kids that uh, uh, say, like, let's just say, for instance, uh, it, uh, it, he's a good basketball player, and he's about, like you said, 14, 15, going into high school, and he has the option to like go to TCA, Trent High, or like somebody from up Jersey, from up North Jersey, like let's just say like a Hudson Catholic, Hudson Catholic. They look at it, they're like, yeah, we want you to come here, you know, but this, that, and the third there, you might not play varsity or this, that, and the third, or until your sophomore year or your junior year. And you like, well, I want to go to Hudson Catholic because it's Hudson Catholic. Don't pick the name of the school. Don't pick the school by the name. Go where it's best for you. As far as like, you could go to, not down getting Trinity Catholic, because Trinity Catholic been a powerhouse for years. But you can go there and, you know, do your thing. Put numbers up early as a freshman. You know what I mean? If you're good enough, one thing about them, if you're good enough, you're gonna play anywhere. But most majority of the time, like a Hudson Catholic, is politics, names. You probably got like like you said, you got a J JQ that's there. You know what I mean? You got what's that kid named Luther King, the other kid. You know what I'm saying? Like you got those dudes that's there, and it's like you gotta wait for them. And then we gotta talk about how good are you? Cause if you, cause everybody's like this. You know what I mean? It's like right. ten people down the line. You low here, he a little here, he a little here, he a little here. If you not really separated from those people, mm -hmm. then you can't really be mad at anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, because if they throw you in a, if they pick like, oh, I want them, him, 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 him. There's nothing you can really say because right. you like, I, I think I'm kind of better than him. You're kind of better than him. Right. You know, so yeah. it's easy to fall in the line of who they pick because y'all are so close. Right. So if you go somewhere else where you're seen first, where you stand out immediately, that might be in your best interest because we got to play for ourselves. Right. You got to play for your best interest. What's, got what's, to. What's From best for you? Right. What's best for you? Because, like, like, like you said, there's guys that's already picked. To be honest with you, a varsity basketball team, every year, there's probably five available spots on the team because you got returning players, you got players that's transferring, and you got, you always will probably have that one or two freshmen that's coming in is going to play. You know what I mean? So by you picking up Roselle Catholic or Hudson Catholic, that's going, you're going to be on JV or freshman for two years when you could have played varsity at Trent High, when you could have played varsity at Trent Catholic or Notre Dame or, you know what I'm saying? Anywhere. But you want to go, oh, the, the JQ, JQ went there, so I'm going to go up there and, and waste two years of your high school career. And then junior year, you come up the bench. Nah, by your junior year, you should be starting. You know what I mean? Like, junior year, you should be starting. Junior, senior year, you should be starting. If you consider yourself a good basketball player. A top if you're on the path player. to trying to get a scholarship? Yeah. You have to. It, right. don't, it, don't, it wouldn't make sense for you not to be. But that's the thing. There's a lot of illusions within this game. Right. There's right. a lot of illusions. And sometimes, like, you can beat the odds. You feel me? You can. But realistically, that Division One scholarship, you have to be in a certain path to, to be on that path for right. getting that scholarship. Right. You have to be at a certain amount. You have to be seen in certain places right. already. You have to, have, like it's a process, you know? Mm -hmm. And that, that D1 dream, you know, like with all dreams, they could be a killer. Mm -hmm. Cause no one gonna tell you that you can't make it. Mm -hmm. Nobody gonna tell you that. Well, actually they is gonna tell you. 
but you're not gonna listen. Right. You're not supposed to listen. Mm -hmm. So when is it? When do we actually ask ourselves, like, man, am I really on path for go, for going D1? Right. And if you ask yourself that, are you doubting yourself or are you being realistic? See, these are the questions we need to ask as basketball players. Right. And, and, and another thing too with that Division One dream, there's so many schools out here, man. Just go to school, like, like the kids. Growing up, everybody wanted to go to Division One. I. I wanted to go to Division One. You did. Everybody Still did. Still want to go to Division One. Everybody, one. yeah. That's everybody's dream. Go to Division One. Go to the NBA. If you want to play at the top level of basketball or whatever, soccer, whatever, you want to go to the top level. And the top level after high school is Division One. The top level after is to be a pro. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, at one point you have to realize what kind of player you are. And that's not saying shoot for the stars because you're supposed to. But I'm talking about the kids that you see them that do for that reclass. Yeah. One. Boom. Mm -hmm. Do four years. Two. Then do a prep. Three. Then do a juco. Go to school. And then do all that to end up at Division Three or Division Two when you could have just went to school. So now you're 21 as a freshman at a Division Three school. You know what I'm saying? You just wasted your time. Go to school. You know what I mean? If you got Division One offers, unless the unless a school say, listen, we want you to go to this school, this prep school, or we want you to go to this JUCO, because it's been done before, mm -hmm. they pay for it. They pay for it, we want you to go to this JUCO, we want you to go to this prep school, and then next year you'll be coming in. Because they'll they'll give you a mature they'll year to mature. Instead of red shirting you, they'll give them a year, a year to mature. So they lie, let go prep. Or get your GPA right and then we sign it. So that's why you when you see a lot of kid like a lot of players that sign and then go prep, that's because that school told them go here, spend a season here, then come on. Kids that don't got no offers, that don't got no options, and it's like oh, I might go to Ocean County prep. Then I'm gonna go there. Then I'm no one has told you any of this. You just in your own illusion. Exactly. That, that's that's not that's not good to do that. You know what I'm saying? Go to school. Man. Go to school, man. No matter what school, the degree is a degree. Right. College that, basketball ain't no joke. Period. Yeah. Like I remember at Rump Cath at the Rump Classic, he was a Division Three player, killing NBA players. Yeah, he nice. It's just it's just basketball. At the end of the day, yo, basketball is played one way. Right. It's just on different levels. The main focus is to get a stop. And to get a get a get a bucket, two ways, and that equals one. But I'm saying like it's played two ways: get a stop on defense, get a bucket. It don't matter what level you play on, you know what I mean. And also, Division Three, most of the time, be guys who messed up or guys that didn't have the opportunity to go to Division One. Like my school, I went to Gwinnett Mercy for a year, and. We had, we already had two Division One players that was there before me. Then three transferred at, uh, at in December. We had a kid from Morgan State, a kid from Robert Morris, and, an, and another and another kid. So, and that's because, oh, the kid from UMBC. And that's because, oh, uh, one of the kids got kicked out of school. One of the kids just didn't like the school. And another kid, he was, he had got hurt, and he wanted to play college basketball. So those are three Division One college basketball players that went to Division Three just to transfer. You know what I mean? So people be like, man, I ain't trying to go people. Man, go to school. School is school. Because when you walk across that stage and you get that degree, if you're not planning on going overseas, yeah. you're going to have, you, you, it's, you, that's what, that's, having that piece of paper is really what it's all about. For real, for real. And I think it shows, like, who really loves the game. Because mm -hmm. if you only want to play Division One, you don't really love basketball. Because mm -hmm. if they tell you not playing Division One, you oh, I'm not playing, I'm not. it's mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. Fuck the dream. Over, right. That means you ain't really want to do this. Because do right, right. if you're not really willing to take the other route, the right. harder way, then it's not for you. Because it's never going to be that easy. Never. Right. Right. Especially if you want it. And if it, I know a lot of pros from Division Three. Pros from Division Two. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even got to say Division One. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, it's possible anyway. Mm -hmm. And we in the social media era, right? That, For that's real. that's what I say. Can nobody really that, stop you? Go back to that camera, man. Like that camera and these Instagram, like people 
giving them offers just because they had a nice mixtape, but they don't show you the bad. They don't show, they don't break down their game. Yeah. All you gotta do is get a dunk, get a fancy layup, get a crossover, and hey. you go back to that game. You like he wasn't killing, but the cameraman caught his the time that he scored. So they're like, oh man, this dude is nice. You go see the kid play. You like gotta get them angles. Yeah, that's really what it is. <laughs> for real, like for real, and, 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 and like it's crazy, man. Like it's 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 crazy. Can you can you, can you pause this though? Like, can you pause the camera and gotta go show the camera? You can shop it. Uh, me and such and such is at the park, and I, I was, I was killing you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like every single time you play, whether it's at the park or organized game, you have to protect your name, That's protect what I your have neck. To learn too. Yeah, like protect your name, protect your neck, and somebody like a, like you coming up, that. We'll be hearing about certain names, and you like, I, when I see him, I'm on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on him. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, and then that gave you the clout that you wanted because every time you seen somebody, it was like, oh, I'm on today. I'm going to guard him, and I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it known that if I'm not better than you, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm here. But a lot you know of niggas would be scared. Yeah. A lot of people would be scared. Uh, yeah, that's it's a, it's a select few that's willing to go at the names. Right. The ones that Not don't many. got the ones that don't got much to lose. Yeah. Like for instance, like like uh like coming up, I was always compared to Shaquan Worth, Bing. Always. From we the same age. From the time we was little, from the time until now. You know what I mean? So it was like it was like every time I saw him, I'm a I'm gonna try to go at him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go at him. Every time he saw me, I'm gonna go at him. And that shit, and, and it made us, and it made us cool, like real, real close. Like, you know what I mean? Like I was, it was at one point me and him was supposed to be at NJCU together, but I wound up not, you know what I'm saying, going through with the process because I had other things that was other things that was going on. But and that's another thing. Like you growing up, known in the town too for basketball, you get compared to somebody at a young age. Like somebody is, like for instance, like. Trey Lowe and Malachi Richardson. Or, and you could throw Miles in there. Growing up, they was in the same act, so who was the best? Miles, Miley, or Trey. You know what I mean? And like like I said, and that goes to the fact that when they all was around each other, they all wanted to go at each other. You wanna you, you, you wanna have you wanna be when you walk somewhere or the basketball game or on the court, you wanna be like, oh all right, that's such and such. You know what I'm saying? He just that third, he nice. You know what I'm saying? It, it, but growing up an athlete in the town is definitely going back on it being the good and the bad. It's good because you can get better as far as you, you're always going to get challenged. That's a plus. You're always going to get challenged. And, uh, you know, and you, 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 want to, you want it to stay that way. You want to be a no athlete in the town, so you're going to work hard. You know what I mean? Or you're going to go to a court and protect your name. But the bad also is, if you let it get to your head, it, it can be, it can be bad. Like you, you let the little town buzz that you got get to your head. Where you go somewhere else, you ain't, you regular. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's been mad spots where nobody didn't know who I was, but I made sure by the end of that day or the end of that weekend or the end of wherever I was at, yo, you are, right? you, you, you tough. What's your name? You know what I mean? And, and a lot of people like, like, that's why a lot of people, I, I, I know a lot of people because, not because I was just there, it's because I was there and I made sure that I did what I was supposed to do. You know what I mean? So growing up in the town, like, like growing up in the town, actually is definitely a, it's good and it's bad. Also like, when another bad is where, like I said, you let it get to your head, people, uh, make you feel a certain way like oh you sometimes like you sometimes you can feel like a celebrity to people like mm -hmm. like especially kids and other people like you can feel like a celebrity like somebody kid would be like i seen you play this that and third or, or their parent would come to you like you're so good my my son talks about like you son's not like saying so it's all about how you take it how you how you you know what i'm saying how, how you take it in like you can use it for motivation to be better or some people can, some people let it get to their head. 
and that's that's really what it is about being from you know what I'm saying a, a known athlete in the town. A lot of people hate too. Let's, oh, let's yeah. talk about that. It's oh, a lot yeah. of haters. Yeah. It's, but it's, I think that's everywhere. But being that we in low income, we in the hood, you feel me? It's more hate. It's a little more. It's love too. We're not gonna say that it's all hate. But you gotta be willing to deal with pure hate for no reason. You right. gotta be willing to deal with shit like that. Right. A nigga not liking you simply because you you. He yeah. wanted to be you. Yeah, yeah, that. Gotta be, like, it, it ain't real right. Yeah, you know what I mean, we don't not. even really pay homage to all the athletes we got that's actually making it right now. Mm -hmm. We don't even talk mm -hmm. about them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people would say, oh, they not. I done heard so many people, because I, let me, I'm gonna just say this, you know what I mean? Because this is starting to get on my nerves. There's so many people that already said, like, some people that we got is done. They already said, oh, them, them niggas done. Yeah, you're not getting another chance. They already said this. A lot of them on their second year, first year, third year, whatever it may be, they already being counted out morally by us. Right. By Why is us. that? Right, right, right. Before the world count them out, we gonna count them out. We supposed to be the rock. Yeah, we supposed to be pushing them. It don't make no sense, man. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of hate anywhere you go, but in this town, it's it's sad because we so small, bro. Our town is. Our town is not that big. So when we get somebody, we should embrace it. Like, embrace that his bio says Trenton. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, his bio says Trenton. Or his, when it come across the screen, such and such, such and such, Trenton, New Jersey. That shit, when I feel like I get excited. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. So, some people go, oh, no, nah, he's from Hamilton. He ain't from Trenton. <laughs> yeah, like, he ain't, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That, that's. That. Like for instance, like everybody know who who, you know what I'm saying, my, my boy is. You know what I'm saying? Malachi Richardson and it don't bother him. But at the end of the day, it's like, this is where I'm from. Why do I get why do I get, oh, he's not from here? I've been in the gyms, the Trenton gyms. My whole family is from Trenton. I went to Trenton Catholic. Whether it is in Hamilton or not. I went to Trent Catholic, I'm from Trenton. You went to Trent Catholic, I'm from Trenton. 30 other mother people went to Trent Catholic, they from Trenton. So, why are y'all discrediting he from Trenton? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, say something. Yeah. gotta be something to say. Oh, he from Hamilton. Yeah. Like, you, 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 so, okay, you would want somebody that's in the NBA at the highest level of basketball at this point to be like, oh, I'm from Hamilton. Oh, right? nah, he not from, he, we from the town. We claiming. We claim, that's what I'm saying. Man, you need to claim that. him. You need to claim him. Like. That's why would you hate on somebody that made it from your? You need to embrace him, and and and, and to show the people, your kids and your nieces and your nephews that look, he's from where we're from, so it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Charles Cook too, that got it from the mud. You know what I mean? Like he didn't have the prettiest story. He had to work for everything he had. Real two-way player. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a, that, exactly. Oh, like, mentality. Exactly. He 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 got that trend mentality. Malika do too. Where a lot of people don't know how hard they really work. Like I've been we in the seen it. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Me, we individually was able to see the work. That's that's the difference. We went to school with him. Yeah. But a lot of other people would just just think that the shit was given to him. They would never nothing is never given. Like, like I'm going back to Michael Jordan son. Did he make it to the NBA? No. Michael Jordan is a household name and everything, sneakers, whatever. So the fact that his name is a household name and what he did for the NBA basketball, why they didn't never pick up his son? Because the shit is not, it's not given, earned. it's earned. So if you make it to that point anywhere professionally, that shit is earned. So the fact that he, that they from the city, how y'all hating? They made it. Embrace them. And I'm not just saying that because those are two, you know what I'm saying, those are my friends. But even if I, even if I, you know what I'm saying, even if they wasn't my friends, I didn't know them as well as I do. I'm embracing them because they're from Trenton. Like Coach Greg Grant. Coach Greg Grant is from Wilbur section. Right up the street. Embrace him. You know what I mean? Don't, oh, he don't do, man, he does a lot for our community. 
What do people want? You just want a handout? I don't understand that. That's what, what do you I don't want. Like, that's why I don't understand. Man, shout out to Mali. He came to my tournament. He didn't even have to exactly. do that. And Wilkerson. He just came to the tournament. Wilkerson. In the trenches. Mm-hmm. Popped up. Yep. Ain't asking to do it. Exactly. They doing stuff like that. Cook just had a uh book bag, book bag giveaway. Yeah. Giveaway. School back to school giveaway. When he's giving out school supplies. They're doing things, you know? But then nobody not talking about that. Nobody's not talking about that. Everybody's Oh, what, what, what do you want the person to do? What you want them to give you money? No, you're you grown. You, you know what I'm saying? You grown. It's the crabs in the barrel. Man, yeah, what what do you want from that person for them for you to accept them? Which if we which they really don't care if you accept them or not. But it's like embrace them because we all from one area. Whether you from north, east, south, or west, you, we from Trenton. Your birth certificate, your license plate, or your license your license, it, it say Trenton. They don't say. North Trenton. It don't say East Trenton. It don't say South. It say Trenton, New Jersey. When somebody look at you and you and you write on where you from, it say Trenton, New Jersey. So embrace somebody that embrace one person who made their you know what I'm saying who made it who who achieved their dream. Like that's that's I, I, opening doors for more people. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have people don't understand this. Trenton, we, we special. We different. You gotta keep that in mind. Like, it's only opening more doors. It's inspiring more people. We gotta have a few We got a couple. Maybe that could be Jack. What else is up next? I ain't even gonna speak on that too much. I can't eat Jason because it's already destined to happen. Like, Miles is up next. You know? Yeah, that, he deserves it too. Like, he deserved the respect. And they're not gonna see the work. They're exactly. just gonna say, hey, Miles, can I get a hand? Exactly. I mean, like a lot of people don't know, it, it's a grind, bro. Like, and it usually be, it be the most, it usually be the people that don't know the grind and don't know how hard to really have to work. Like, don't know, never been, it never been through a tour, day. never been through, uh, you know, what I'm saying, a time where you like, damn, all right, I just got to work harder. It's usually the mob, the ones that's sitting around. Not doing and that got the time to talk about somebody making it and downgrading. Like, he only got there for such and such. He only got there for such and such. My nigga, he's from Trenton. Like, yeah, bro, he's from Trenton, bro. He in the league, bro. We got two players from Trenton in the league, bro. Like, it's possible. It's possible, it's man. It's very possible. It's possible, bro. It's possible, bro. Trust me. It's possible. I can say I know NBA players. And I grew up with NBA players. Mm -hmm. And I seen an NBA player when I was in seventh grade and I didn't know it was him. Mm -hmm. And I seen what he when he was at the gym after, when he was doing yeah. extra work in seventh exactly. grade, I felt I felt something about that. I'm like, damn, I need to be doing that. Exactly. I felt good about that though. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I seen the work build up and I see him apply it double, triple, mm -hmm. I know what it takes. I seen what it takes. And mm -hmm. people just think it's like, it's like, you know. Politics. It's right. not all politics. Right. It may be a little bit of politics involved, but it's 95% work. Right. 90, you're not even gonna get there without the work to be <laughs> to be involved in the politics. Right. You're not even gonna get in the conversation. Mm -hmm. You don't put the work in. You don't put the work in. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people, like you said, a lot of people don't know that. <clears throat> like after we went through a camp that was from 8 to 3:30 all day, and then we stayed after because the gym was still open. Get shots on like that. How many twelve year olds just willing to do that? Exactly. Act, just trying to go to the and that that was the difference. That that separated him from everybody. Because I was just as good back then. I wanted to go home. <laughs> I was there all day. I wanna go home. Shit. I wanna play the game or whatever. He I wanted to ride. stay yeah, he wanted to stay after and shoot. So his mom stayed after and he shot. Until he felt like, all right, I'm I'm go home now. And then the same thing happened every single day. He was in the gym every single day. And now look where he's living his dream. And it's a, and it's a process, but he's living his dream. He's where he want to be. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't understand the grind. I've seen the grind. I've been through the grind. You know what I mean? And, and like, it, it, can, it, can, it can tire you out. Or you can look at other people and you can look at the benefits that come with it. You just got to keep pushing. Like people who give up the game early, like I, I gave it up a little early. I gave it up earlier than expected, but it happens. 
you don't just you can't just sit around like oh I was this I was that you got to move on but that goes back from where you, the question you asked me where uh, you said you, you seen the demeanor that I had at a young age it felt like a job at a young age it did yeah and I seen that yeah, it, it, it felt like a job at a young age, but that's because I wanted I wanted it that bad. So it seemed like I was so like focused on that, and it seemed like a job because that's how much I wanted it. But when you putting your all into something, and 